Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. On top of being one of the most iconic actors of all time, Robert Redford is also an avowed philanthropist, environmental activist, and filmmaker, and he's passed on his passion for film to his family. He and his first wife, Lola Van Wagenen, had four children together, Scott, Shauna, James, and Amy Redford. Scott died from sudden infant death syndrome at only two months old. Their younger son, James, died of cancer in October 2020. After news of James' death was announced, the Redford Center's executive director, Jill Tidman, issued a statement that touched on his remarkable life. As a filmmaker, writer, and activist, Jamie was intentional and inspirational, Tidman said. As a father, husband, brother, son, and a friend to so many, he was a devout supporter, always full of hope. He will be greatly and intensely missed. Redford has left his indelible mark on each family member, many of whom have pursued careers as filmmakers and artists. His son James produced and directed a number of films and documentaries, and his daughters Amy and Shauna both work as filmmakers and artists. Several of his grandchildren are also beginning to follow in his footsteps. Here is everything to know about Robert Redford's four children and seven grandchildren. Redford and Van Wagenen welcomed their first baby, son Scott Anthony Redford, on September 1, 1959. Scott unexpectedly died of SIDS on November 19, 1959. He was two and a half months old. The actor rarely speaks about Scott publicly. However, in November 2017, Redford reflected on his first son's death. I was only 21, my wife was 20. We were just starting our lives, I was just starting my career in New York, he told Esquire. Of course it was traumatic, and how that plays out over time, I don't know. We had to deal with it. You have to move on. And we had other children who came. But something like that doesn't get completely dismissed. It probably shows up in various small ways you're not even aware of. Scott is buried in Provo City Cemetery in Provo, Utah. Redford and Van Wagenen welcomed their elder daughter, Shauna Jean Redford, on November 15, 1960. Shauna attended the University of Colorado Boulder, where she graduated with an art degree in 1985. In October of that year, the New York Times reported that Shauna married her husband, Eric Schlosser, at her parents' home in Provo Canyon, Utah. Their ceremony was performed by a Utah State Supreme Court judge and former Salt Lake City Mayor Ted Wilson. Schlosser would go on to write the book Fast Food Nation, and the pair eventually welcomed two children, Micah and Connor Schlosser. In 2018, Redford spoke to the Salt Lake Tribune about retiring and what that would mean for the Sundance Institute, the arts nonprofit he founded in 1981. Sundance is going to be in the hands of my children, he said of the organization which also operates the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah. I've been spending a lot of time bringing my children, Shauna and Amy and Jamie, into the picture, and now they're there and they're in a position to run the show, he said. Basically, they're inheriting what I started, and they're going to keep it going with my grandchildren. Redford and Van Wegenen's second son, David James Jamie Redford, was born on May 5, 1962. According to the Salt Lake Tribune, James grew up in New York and spent summers at his family's home in Utah. As an adult, James was diagnosed with primary sclerosing cholangitis, a disease that affects the liver and bile ducts. James eventually received two liver transplants in 1993. He was inspired to start the James Redford Institute for Transplant Awareness following his surgeries and the nonprofit's aim was to educate the public about organ and tissue donation. He continued that mission in 1999 with his documentary The Kindness of Strangers, which told the stories of organ donors and recipients. Like his older sister, James studied at the University of Colorado Boulder. He pursued an undergraduate degree in creative writing and film before getting his master's degree in literature from Northwestern University. Those degrees were the foundation for James' career, and he soon combined environmental and social activism with filmmaking to direct and produce a number of documentaries. He met his future wife, Kyle, at CU Boulder, and they married in June 1988. They later welcomed two kids, son Dylan and daughter Lena, NMO.